I will be streaming for one more hour in this segment of Minecraft Open World Exploration. Um, whoever is the top contributor at the end will get to pick something that we do in Minecraft, whether you name something in your honor. What This house you can't even get into. Are you kidding me? Whether you name something in your honor, whether you decide on a project that we'll work on, all right, you're going to be in charge of something. Look at this. No wonder they're all dead. Fuck. You'll be in charge of something. Um... In the future, if you are the top contributor tonight, so please consider contributing. Thanks to everyone who has so far. I appreciate that. Wow, nothing of use? Nope. My inventory is also full, but that's because it's a bunch of fucking junk here. Hold on. Get all this junk. Get rid of it. I didn't even mean to pick up this uh, mushroom. I don't want that. There we go. Okay. Tossed a bunch of junk right there. All right. Where are we on the map? Okay. Wow. We're actually uh, almost all the way to the northeast. So what I'm seeing is a bad pattern here. It looks to me like originally the game... Remember, I generate. I originally generated this world. Okay. Uh, back in December of 2019. Excuse me. December of 2018. That's when we started doing this as a weekly series. And when I generated the world, villages did not exist yet, okay? And what happened was they decided, oh, we're going to make these villages. And I think what happened is the villages somehow in the code tied themselves to underground caves and chasms in my game, making it so that, sadly, most of the villagers killed themselves. Because we've only found one village, the one that I have defended with a fence and everything, where everyone's not dead. Every other freaking village... um. Actually, this should be $18 tips, I believe. But every other village, everyone's dead. <laughs> because they all had this these giant ditches right next to them that everyone fell into. Um, I don't know what the hell is this code that's making that happen. But that's really sad and unfortunate. Is that a, uh, a gray sheet or a black sheet? Those are rare, right? Yeah, that's a cool one. That's a gray sheet. Give me some of that. <laughs> All right, let's sleep. <clears throat> By the way, PW Dubs, I think someone's impersonating you and tried to tip me a dollar and insult me, so I'm not going to read it. I think it's someone impersonating you, though. I don't think it's the real you, because you never insulted me like that before, so I don't know why that would have been you. Okay. It's just bad. Like, how is it that every village ends up with dead people? And by the way, the one village where the people weren't dead, if you didn't notice, still had um, an underground cave underneath it. And it just so happens that it was hard to get into. And that's why they didn't wander down there and die. But as soon as I got to that village, I had to try to board it up so that the villagers wouldn't accidentally wander down there. And so monsters wouldn't come out of there and kill the villagers. You know, what is up with that? That it's only spawning that stuff... In unsafe places. That's freaking weird to me. It's only spawning villages in completely unsafe places. Anyway, let's now head south, southeast, across our map here, shall we? <clears throat> Honest fans said, what's the point in impersonating of another viewer? Because what they want to do is they want to get regulars in trouble. They want to make it look like regulars are being insulting to me so that I'll get angry and erroneously, like, ban or yell at that viewer for something that they didn't do. Which is why, in this case, PWW's already tipped tonight and was was had positive things to say. Now, all of a sudden, he insults me in a tip? I find it hard to believe that that's actually him. By the way, look what I just found. Look what we just found. It's one of those out, uh, uh, towers, right? So, I'm just going to slaughter all the fucks in here. I don't care about starting a fucking war or whatever. This is nowhere near my village anyway, so I'm just going to slaughter these assholes and get all their loot. Okay. Wow. Marlins Manny tipped me uh, or did a hundred bit cheers. It's been four years, three months, and thirty days since M Milla finally returned, and I continue patiently to wait for the conclusion of Tales of Exilia Two. I think you're gonna be waiting a lot longer. Ha <laughs> ha. A pop of error. There's no way this could be the one I found before because I haven't been here on the map. This is a brand new one. There's no way this could be the one from before. In 
fact, there's a stone golem standing at this one. Yeah, this is totally new. You think that stone golem's gonna be defending it? There's a crafting bench, right? Mr. Bubba, very true. So if you kill the captain away from a village, it still counts. So I can't kill the captain here. You gotta be joking me. Well, let's rework out because I don't think there's anyone in this. Oh shit, never mind. Jesus. Mr. Bobbera says, you'll still get the bad omen effect, and you'll still start a raid if you get too close to a village unless you drink milk. Great. Oh, fuck me. Headshot. I think that's it. What? All they had were dark oak logs? This is their fucking... Are you kidding me? This is the treasure they're guarding in the fucking tower. Dark oak logs? You fucking idiots. That's not treasure. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what did I even do this for? There was no point. There's another building down there. I guess I'll check that out, but... Talk about a disappointment. <laughs> I'm still in the tower. I'm going to get some good loot. Oh, some wood. Great. Fuckers. Um, let's see here. Wolfrin did a 200-bit cheer. He says, when are you and Cat having Phil Juniors? Never. We're not having kids. We decided against it. Um, Sam said to me a dollar. He's like, have you ever seen the live-action Dumbo movie? It's way sadder since Dumbo looks so realistic considering the abuse Dumbo goes through. No, I did not see that movie at all. Okay. See, an anonymous dollar tipper says an impersonation worked when uh, when someone impersonated DJ Runo and then you went off on him and now he doesn't come around anymore. You don't have to worry about that. I've talked to DJ Runo about it behind the scenes and he's actually not angry at all. But he basically said, Jesus, if you were going to insult me, I guess I should basically like not stick around at least you know, in that capacity. Chances are DJ Runo might be on the stream right now. He just uses a different name and we don't know it. You know, I don't know because guess what he told me. He's like, at this point, I think, you know, I kind of need to lay low and change my identity because people already are, are already, like, trolling and, and doing harassing stuff. So I'm going to basically change things up. And then, you're right, I haven't heard from DJ Runo, but there's a lot of supportive people around here. So, you know, who knows? So what I'm guessing is that Gollum was in prison here, but somehow he got let out. I don't know. I don't know what happened. All right, um, Jamie Noble took me a dollar. Have you heard about Cam Soda? They have a higher payout for streamers than Twitch. I've never heard of Cam Soda. I have no idea what the hell that is. I have no desire to leave Twitch. Twitch itself is profitable enough for me. Um, I don't know how you think they can have a higher payout when I get 100% of bits. And, I mean, I get 50% of subs, more percentage for the higher tier of subs. Um... And I make a, a good amount of tips. Like, I have no negative, nothing negative to say about what I make on Twitch. I would never want to leave and get rid of all the cool, positive things we have going on Twitch to start over somewhere else. Let's face it. Even the big streaming guys only move because they got paid millions of dollars to do so. So I have no desire to do that. I like Twitch. <laughs> Then again, he could be joking. Maybe Cam Soda is something stupid. I never heard of it, so maybe this is a, a bad joke. Who knows? Who knows? Ooh. Ooh, all right, we're heading further down to this area here. So, Papa Vera, if you feel there's anything else that I should be on the lookout for as we're still exploring, by all means, let me know. So that way I can grab it while I'm along my way here rather than missing out and having to come back out here. Especially if it's stuff that you've seen here. Okay. Mm 
What's my favorite Dragon Ball C movie? Um, man, now I really have to go back and think about all the Dragon Ball Z movies because there were a lot that were, like, not canon movies. It's funny, a lot of people say they like the Broly movie. I don't like that one. What's the one? Oh. If you guys can either tell me the names of the movies, I would probably remember what they are because I own a lot of them. Uh, I know there's one where Piccolo actually helps them, and that's along the time frame in the Dragon Ball plot line where Piccolo is not a hero yet. So it's kind of weird that he's like, he's, he's giving up on being a villain for the movie to help them because he's afraid that this threat is going to hurt Earth or whatever. Much like he does in the actual Dragon Ball Z series when he fights, uh, you know, Nappa. And then later Vegeta. <clears throat> so, I would say, I can't remember what the name of the movie is though. I would need to know the names of the movies again. Cousins Ven said, did I yawn? Do I want a pillow? No. I probably did yawn, but no, I don't want a pillow. Thanks. And by the way, when you say yawn, it makes me want to yawn. I'm one of those people that yawns are very contagious. If I see someone else yawn or someone's even talking about yawning, I get like, I have to yawn really bad. <clears throat> well, it's raining. It kind of sucks because I don't have inventory to fish. So I'm not going to. Darn. Oh, there's lightning striking. That's not good. I should get the fuck out of here. That's not good. Tree of Might, was that it? That might have been it. The Tree of Might. I think you're right. I think that might have been it. Yeah, the one where the tree grows and they're trying to, I think they're trying to suck the, the, the power out of the earth or something. And so Piccolo teams up with them and they all beat the shit out of the, uh, the villains or whatever. That might be it. Or is it dead? Oh, wait, maybe it's Dead Zone. That might be correct. Yeah. It might be Dead Zone. You might be correct. Cooler's Revenge and Return of Cooler. Those are kind of good only because Cooler gets like no screen time in the real Dragon Ball Z show. He shows up and immediately, immediately gets fucking slaughtered by Trunks. So it's actually cool that he's in a movie that fleshes him out a little bit more as a character or whatever. Mr. Bob versus get some flowers. This is like the land of flowers. Look at this shit. There's a lot of fucking flowers. Okay, we'll grab some of these flowers. Now, now, now I'm going to be yawning for the rest of the night. Seriously. Because you brought it up. Now I'm conscious that it's happening and my body will keep yawning all night. That's how I am. It's like contagious with me. Okay. Grab all those flowers. The flower power. So FYI, guys, I'm going to be streaming for about another 45 minutes tonight. And reminder, that the top contributor will get something uh, going in my Minecraft universe. It could be many, many things. It could be a building project. It could be uh, getting something named in your honor. It could be uh, a direction to go while exploring. It could be one of many things, okay? There's been many things in the past that have been successful, so. Okay. Alright, I think we're gonna we're gonna sail off. Actually I need to sleep here, don't I? Sleep in the rain. Oh yeah? Mr. Bolivar says this is called the Oh. That's funny. He's burning alive in the sun. He said this is called the Flower Forest Biome, and it's his favorite biome. That's cool. I'm facing the wrong way. There we go. I was facing the wrong wait. Why am I facing backwards in this boat? Oh, wait. The boat was facing backwards. That's what it was. Oh, let's see here. PW Dubs to me a dollar. So I'm glad you were actually able to detect that earlier. That was not him that insulted me. I, PW Dubs, I seriously didn't think it was you at all. I thought it was a troll. So no problems there, dude. Yolo Vaco, cheers. Are you seriously ever, ever, never having kids? Yes, we've talked about it. And Kat and I decided we don't want kids. We like where we are. We like our life as it is. We already have enough stress. You know... We like having a cat as our pet, kind of as our kid, and that's as much as we want in life. We have a full life now. We just want it to maintain it and hopefully protect it and be able to have it for as long as we can. That's what we want. We don't want kids. So there you go. 
Mr. Bubba Vera says, well, I'm in shallow water. Get some clay. Okay, hold on. Is that clay? No, clay would, clay would break a lot easier than that. It's a whole clay block. Do I... Okay. Do you want me to get clay or clay blocks? Is it better to get a clay block? How does this work? Because I actually have to pickaxe together clay blocks, right? Should I get the clay blocks? Blocks are good. You only need 10? Oh, shit. Well, then. <laughs> well, then. Let's get them. Uh, Junior Mint, thank you for the cheer, but no, we're not going to have a giant dick and balls built in your honor because you're a top contributor, so I guess you can pass then. We've had enough of that nonsense. <laughs> 2019 was a year of nonsense. This year, we're going to have a year of fun. Mature fun. Not a year of bullshit from idiots. What do you mean don't use the pick? This way I get the whole block. Why wouldn't I use the pick? Oh, fuck. I stopped paying attention to the air. Ow, oh, I totally forgot about the air. <laughs> Oops. I only need 10 of these blocks, so everyone be quiet while I get these blocks. <laughs> Stop complaining. No cat does not have any Italian heritage to her knowledge. Shit. Polish Frog asks, do you think I'll ever start a new Minecraft world now that I'm more experienced with the game? I have no idea. Like, I would, I would feel bad having already invested so much into this world, ditching it to start another one. And quite frankly, I want to feel like this is my one world, so it's, it matters. And after this world, I'm done with it. I really don't feel like doing another world because then I could say, oh, you know, that was my one meaningful Minecraft experience. So I don't know if I would do another world, quite frankly. I have 12 blocks, so we're good. I don't need any more clay. Perfect. So what I'm hoping is this resource gathering is paying off. And I'll have all the resources that I need to build this shrine for Mr. Papa Vera. So we don't waste another whole stream resource gathering. But instead we could just have to do the fun building. Okay. Ah, so New World Order says, ironic that I, ironic that I did do that the first time around. The one I played this on PC. You're absolutely right. But when I decided to change up my formula of how I was going to be a streamer. Right? And when I said, I'm gonna, oh, this is like the water changed. Holy shit, the water got murky and stuff. When I said, oh, I'm going to be a full-time streamer. We're going to have interactive streams. We're going to have fun, chill streams. And this is going to be a more serious, ongoing playthrough instead of me just fucking around with a game I never played before. Then it got more serious. And like I said, I got more invested in the world. I learned more about Minecraft. I got advice from guys like Papa Vera. And I wanted to keep it going. And I cared about the game world, right? So you're right. I threw away... The experimental world I didn't really understand or care about, and I started making a world that I did care about, you know? <clears throat> Dragon Quest fan says, um, my favorite mobile game you ask, I used to play Clash Royale, right? Um, so, that being said, um, <laughs> that being said, um, I've heard of Clash Royale. I used to see ads for it on the internet all the fucking time. And it was years ago when I was actually messing around with mobile games. I looked into it. There's like 10 different games that all played exactly the fucking same. There were this weird, like, you control military units, you build 
military units and castles, and you attack. It's like almost like a tower siege, but then there's like little micromanage, almost like RTS, but not really RTS. You know what I mean? Like it was like weird, but there was like ten games that were all the same exact game, and Clash Royale was one of those. Um, I never got into that kind of game. I never even tried it. To me, I don't know. It didn't really appeal to me. I guess that whole simulation, military simulation kind of a deal does appeal to certain people. And I guess if you have a... Uh, if you have a actual uh, affinity for that type of game, there's like so many varieties. There's serious ones where it's like more serious units that look like a, 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 an actual military force. There's ones that are cartoony. We get like cartoon troops and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, it all depends on what, what your preference is. But apparently there's a million kinds of that game out there for some reason. Mr. Bubba Bear says, I think next, get back to the village or your house, see how many how much iron you have, make new shears, and get some leaves. Okay. Leaves is easy. Shears are about to break, you're right. And you're, you're right. I think he said I'm gonna need iron. So more than likely what I should do is just row here and go back to the village. Let's see what's in the if there's anything in the water along the way. Thank you for the cheer, by the way, uh, Mr. Papa Vera. <clears throat> okay. Blub 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 blub. Uh -huh. Polish Frog says, the top contributors may be kind of upset if I ditch this world. Maybe in a year or two I can look back at Nihilus the Goldfish's Pier and reminisce about the fond memories that you had there. This is the longest running thing I've ever done. If you really think about it, the only thing that I've done longer is maybe Street Fighter 4. Um, but that's not a really a continuing project. That's just go back and do random fighting game, right? This is like, this is the longest ongoing project I've ever done in anything in over 11 years of content creation. It's the only game that I've consistently built upon and increased upon and played pretty consistently that entire time and you're right like i think this is a pretty sweet that we i've done that consistently and we now have a world that's like interesting and different and unique and all the stuff that i've built in it and you know there's still much more to come like i said this year definitely i think i want to try to make that rail chart that rail cart system uh because that would be really sweet. like right now i could say oh resources let's just scoot right back to my main home base where we started all this and see what resources i have stored over there and compare that with what i have at the village and see what we have for a project. But instead, we're like, oh, man, it's an ordeal. It takes me 20, 25 minutes to get back to my other place. And it's a hassle if I want to try to get back here. So I don't really bother with that. Now, this is pretty funny. It looks like a vendor died. He did. There was apparently a vendor that died, but his llama survived. And his llama stuck in water. I can't get up. But the vendor probably drowned. That's screwed up. <laughs> That's pretty screwed up. Polish Frog says, do you think you'll build, I'll build a third base? Oh, there's the vendor. He's fucked. Oh, well. Oh, do I think I'll ever build a third base someday? I would say I would consider it. Like, quite honestly, if I could find another village where everyone wasn't fucking dead, I might do it. You know? But sadly, everyone's fucking dead. Or, you know what I could do? I could go, like, far south of the, my original base. I never went far to the south. I've gone far north. That's where I am now. This is far north of my original base. <clears throat> this is where the village is and everything. Maybe I go all the way down south and buy a whole new thing. That would be cool. Or build a whole new thing. Dark Side Chris says, Did you care from Dragon Ball Super? i never seen it. I've never seen a single episode of Dragon Ball Super. I know it was a hype thing when it was coming out and everything. I never saw it, so I couldn't answer that. But when I did play Dragon Ball Z... Um... What was it called? Fuck. The game that I already mentioned. Dragon Ball Z. Why well, can't I remember? Now I'm thinking Budokai and Tenkaichi. It's not that. What was it called? The mobile game I mentioned. Dragon Ball... Dokkan Battle. I could not remember it. Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. When I played Dokkan Battle, it had basically all the characters from Dragon Ball Super in it. So I like had the whole cast of Dragon Ball Super... Like, you know, in the game, I was fighting against them, even though I didn't understand any of it. <clears throat> um, Ellipsian, I would find it very hard to believe that my Persona 5 playthrough is longer than my Minecraft playthrough. The reason I say that, the Persona 5 playthrough probably was 80 hours long, I think, or something like that. While this, I've been playing consistently on a weekly basis, maybe with maybe one to two months skip. 
As soon as you skip that, right? And it's two to three, two hours a week minimum. You some weeks I did four. That would mean that it was this was at least a hundred hours or more long. So I think this is the longest playthrough. I think. I think so. Uh, no, I killed Phil four by eight. I never played a Banner Saga guy, game. Nope, never played Banner Saga. I'm going the wrong direction. Fuck. Got myself all twisted up there. <laughs> all twisted up. Okay. Back to the village. We unload all the shit we got. Or we're probably gonna have to mine for ore. Oh, uh, I know Persona 5 is longer than Skyrim. We did confirm that. That the Persona 5 playthrough ended up being longer than Skyrim. Before that... The Skyrim playthrough was actually my longest one, but then Persona 5 beat it. And now I believe this is going to be longer than Persona 5, so this will actually have been the longest gaming experience ever in a single game. Uh, Darkside Chris, I'm okay with walking. Uh, there was a time when I actually was riding a horse, and the horse ended up getting fucked up and died. After that, I was like, I'll never ride a horse again. So I'll just walk. <laughs> No, I'm not going to be playing for sort of a scramble or whatever the hell that is. I don't even know what that is. Okay. Alright. Go back. We unload. We see what we got. We might have to do some mining. Probably, like I said, probably finish up the resource gathering for whatever this project will be the next week when we play Minecraft. Well, actually, it's not really next week. It's this coming Sunday. We'll begin construction on this shrine for Mr. Papavera. How's my armor doing? Very minor loss of health. Almost nothing. Our bees look happy. They're out there, you know, buzzing around, harvesting. That's good. That's very good. Okay. Statue's looking great. Jasper and the bird. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Persona 5 Scribble is a Musu game like Dynasty Warriors and apparently is a canon sequel. Whole oh shit. So it's Persona 5, but you play it like Dynasty Warriors where you've killed a million enemies, much like they had uh, Legend of Zelda uh, Dynasty Warriors game. Dude, maybe I will play it then. That might be that might be interesting. Action-based, right? I mean, it's going to be very repetitive like those games are. Oh, my legs. Oh! What happened to the BMW? The BMW was re released and it was returned in 2017, three years ago. <laughs> What a question. What happened to the BMW? A leased car was returned three fucking years ago. Boy, you were behind the times if you didn't know that. That's like old, old, old news. <clears throat> okay. So, let's actually... You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to get a chest just to put ingredients in for crafting projects. So like, right now, I'm going to craft this shrine to Papa Vera. I'd like to create a chest just for that so that I have things all sorted nicely. I wonder if you just need wood for a chest or not. Here. What the hell is this? Mossy Cobblestone? When the fuck did I even get that? I got Mossy Cobblestone from somewhere. I don't even know where. Here's one. Okay. 
So what I would like to do, yeah, I'd like to have a chest that's specifically for builds. Okay. There. So that will be my builds chest, okay? So specifically, what do we need for this build is the question. I'm going to ask Papa Vera in a second, but he did cheer and he said... Small tip, you can crouch in front of the sweet berry bushes with any kind of slab in your hand and place the slabs on top of them. The slabs will prevent you from walking into them. It will keep other mobs from walking into it and taking damage. The bees won't be able to use them, so you have to plant other flowers. Or I could just not walk into them. I don't think I don't think that the villagers do either. They're not that stupid. Alright. Alright. So I know for a fact these fur or is it the ferns? Shit. No, it was the vines. The vines. What else do we need for this Papavera? Can you give me like a rough list here of what I should... I'll t start tossing stuff into this chest. Okay, guys. Uh, I'll be streaming for roughly one more half hour. Again, top contributor of the night is still Snake Eater with that 1,200-bit cheer. Top tip of the night is Shao Kahn uh, Artist. Whoever is the top contributor by the end of the stream gets something in the game per their request. So please consider contributing if you can. Tipping me helps me more than anything. Okay, guys? All right. Okay. Lyle, it's really none of anyone's business what kind of a car I drive. I just tell you, it's a very modest, mid-range car. That was the only thing that I could really afford. And quite frankly, I love it more than the BMW. So I'm very happy with the car I got. And that's about all you're going to know. None of anybody's business what I got. So, all right, Baba Vera, weigh in on your confirmation of what the items are that I should be storing, okay? Maybe I do drive a Chevy Malibu. Maybe I don't. You guys may be onto something. Well, I think Papa Vera is typing something big up here. What's up, Sneaky Fish Gaming? He said he wanted to join the stream when he got home from work, but he fell asleep. It's cool. You're here for the last half hour. We're basically resource gathering now. <clears throat> I know Papa Vera said he wanted iron. We ain't got shit. I used all my iron to make this iron armor, so. <clears throat> okay, he says. 43 vines. <clears throat> 43? I have 42. Are you serious? You said... No. Thirty-four coal. I only have 25, but I may have some down here. Hold on. <clears throat> Okay. Do the coal. There's the coal. 57 leaves. I have to go get leaves. 19 iron. Don't have that. Shears. I need a new pair of shears. 10 clay blocks. We have that. <clears throat> Five logs. A stone cutter. I just put the stone cutter up here. Five logs. Uh, you can't believe it. The only logs that I have, I have jungle log and birch log. I guess we'll go birch. We'll go birch for this. Hmm. Uh. Birch logs. Stone cutter. Did I put the stone cutter in? No. Stone cutter. A furnace and a crafting table. I, I'm pretty sure I have an extra crafting table. Yes. I guess I need to make an extra furnace. Uh. 
How the fuck do you make a furnace? I'm trying to remember. Let's see. Shit. I think you need stone. I can't remember any of this. Do like five or so furnaces. I don't remember what you need for a furnace. I need uh I need ingredients for all this shit. I don't know how to make them, dude. King Michael says he really enjoyed the nice little over public stream earlier. It was very chill, and he's really enjoying this stream as well. Very chill. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much, King Michael. Appreciate that. Yeah, I don't know how to craft any of this shit. All you need is cobble. Huh. Oh, furnace. I need five. One, two, three, four, five furnaces. Got it. It's nighttime. I gotta go sleep. Okay. All right, let's go sleep, then we'll come back. Keep working on this. <clears throat> so I'm going to need 57 leaves. That should be easy. Just go cut, chop down the tree leaves, right? Shears. I don't have iron to make shears. I also need 19 iron, so I'm going to have to go uh, mine. La 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 la. Ow! I gotta put these ferns away. Oops. I missed. <laughs> Alright, let's put these ferns away. Those are plant type. flower right wait a minute no that's okay i was gonna say there's a, that's definitely the plant container yeah it is anything else i want to put away i guess the shears i need to go mine iron i'm almost positive you need iron for the shears too so we gotta go mine some iron Where's my other pickaxe? I don't see it. I know I have another pickaxe. Because the, the, the soft touch one was only one of two. I don't know where the fuck it is. Or silk touch, not soft touch. Where the fuck did I put the other pickaxe? I have no idea. <clears throat> Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's see. Anything else? So, I just got to get uh, shears and iron. Yeah. I, I need to go dig for iron. So, I'll use this pickaxe to do that. Yep. I have no torches. What happened to my torches? Come on. I guess I'm out of torches. Oh, wait, here we go. I was going to say, am I out of fucking torches? Here they are. Okay, good. Papa Vera says, you can also look for iron bars to make up for the iron ingots you need. Those are the things that you use as windows in the librarian farm. Oh. Now, yeah, I'll, I'll just go iron, new iron. I'll, I'll go iron, new iron. I guess I'll go mine, new iron, is what I meant to say. Okay. What am I playing tomorrow? First stream tomorrow is the probable conclusion of Final Fantasy VI. And the late stream tomorrow is the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon demo. We're going to try Pokemon Mystery Dungeon for the very first time. And see if I like it to determine if I want to play it in March. So there you go. Hello, Tobias Alexander. Good evening. Um, 
Let's see here. Uh, tonight, we have been doing a world exploration of Minecraft. We finished up with that. And now I'm heading over here to mine resources. Because next week, we're going to begin work on a shrine for Mr. Papa Vera. Per the top requester of last... Or top contributor and their request from last stream. Okay? <clears throat> so right now, I'm going to go down looking for iron. Um... He's asking, what's the state of the stream address going to be this week? That's the podcast that I told you guys about many topics. We're going to be talking about things that happened in 2019, how well things went on the streams. We're going to be talking about plans for 2020. Um, you know, some personal stuff that I need to tell you guys about that are going to affect the streams in the future. That's really important. Um, we're going to go through all the games release listings for 2020 to let you know exactly what's coming out and what I'm interested in playing out of all the game releases that are available or known so far. So it's going to be a very busy stream. Plus, I'm sure people are going to have questions. They're going to want to do Q&A and stuff with me. So we're going to be doing that as well. So it's going to be tons. Absolutely tons of stuff going on in the stream. I don't even know what I was mining here. I don't see any iron anywhere. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh! Oh shit! You fucking piece of shit! Oh! That was not good. That was not good. That was fucking close, dude. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's, oh man. I still have fucking ferns in my inventory for some reason. I got the guy's bow. I already found some. Look at that. Doesn't Silk Touch get you even more? Is that true? No, I guess not. I thought Silk Touch got you more, but I guess I'm wrong. Okay. Pretty good vein right there, right? Fortune gets you more? Oh, this one has a fortune too. Okay. So this is the one I want. I got coal here. I think this is alright because I'm almost out of coal. Iron. Beautiful. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. down here? This is gravel, so that's not good. Oh, shit! Uh, that was not a good way to go. Full of fucking water. PW Dubs took me a dollar, and he said, do you snore on the sleeping app that records my snoring? It's terrifying. Yes, I do snore. Team 52 Twitch says, what's up? Has your week been going? So how's it going so far? Stuff for Mine for Minecraft. What's going on? We are we have done a lot of exploration this stream. I figured for the last half hour, what we're doing is resource gathering to get the resources we need to make a shrine to Mr. Papavera starting next week. Okay, he says that we're going to need nineteen iron. We're close. We have sixteen. We only need three more iron, and we're good to go. Let's go this way instead. 
Miserable Vera says, Fortune only works on ores that drop items like coal, redstone, and lapis. Won't work on ores that only drop the block like iron and gold. Lame. <sighs> oh, now we're in dirt. This ain't gonna help. I need to find iron. I only need a few more. God damn it, I can't find any. Ugh, come on, I need like three more. Do I like to be hugged? Uh, I would say if it's a loved one or someone who I care about or someone trying to make me feel better when I feel like shit, sure. Do I like being hugged by random strangers for absolutely no fucking reason? No. Hands up. Hands up, motherfucker. Did I just destroy my own fucking torch? I think I did. What the? How am I doing that? There, stop that right now. It's ridiculous. not going so well. Look. I haven't found another iron at all. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, speak of the devil. Here we go. This is what I needed. Nice. Alright, that's it. I'm good. I got the iron I need. Yep, 24 now. Beautiful. Beautiful! Now I can go back. Alright. We're good. So let's level check. We've got 34 coal. Check. 43 vines. I think I'm one short. 57 leaves. I do have to gather leaves. 19 iron. Check. Shears I have to make. I'll have some extra iron to do so. 10k box. Check. 5 logs. Check. Stone cutter. Check. Furnace. Check. Crafting cable. Check. There you go. Okay. PW does not tip the dollar and said, this cat sleep in another room because of my snoring. Um, well, what'll happen sometimes is I'll wake up and she'll be like gone and then I'll ask her the next morning what happened and she'll be like, yeah, you were snoring really bad so I, you know, I went to another room or whatever. Um, but, you know, it's not all the time. That's just, you know, every once in a while if it's like really, really bad or if she can't sleep for some reason and my snoring's keeping her up. Wait a minute. How the fuck? How do I get out of here? Uh, what the fuck? Uh, go back up here. I'm very confused. Must have fallen down here. See that? Okay. Here we go. Alright, Papa Vera Charity said 226 cobblestone or 3.5 stacks. We'll have to see how much I got. Obviously, I just got a bunch right there. Yeah. Okay, good. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, Dark Star Chris says you can just do what I do when I need to get back and I'm lost. You just dig straight up and, and, and uh, use stones, like like stand on stones. I mean, I could do that, but the thing is I'm trying to maintain this cave for later use. As you can see, I've used it a lot. <clears throat> and I vine, I, I've uh, made a lot of veins and got a ton out of it. So I kind of want to maintain the structure of the cave rather than just digging the, sh the shit out of it to get out. So I did. That's good. Okay. Um. There we go. It's the nighttime again. I gotta sleep again. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. I heard a cat. Meow, 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 meow. <clears throat> Evel Gibson, being incredibly ridiculous, says, First of all, this is ridiculous. Why are they all sucking on the plants? They're all sucking the cocoa out of the plant. Look, they're all standing here sucking the cocoa juice out of the cocoa beans. It's ridiculous. Anyway... Evel gives us this. Have I ever considered getting surgery to stop myself from snoring to help my wife? Well, let's see. As I told you guys, I have no money. I'm in bad financial straits. Behind on everything the entire last year. Barely making ends meet. Yes, I just have tons of crazy amounts of disposable income to consider getting surgery so that I don't snore. Oh. Don't you think I would like to not snore? Of course, but I can't. I don't have any money. My money has to go to not optional things and important things. Like the fucking taxes now that I have to catch up on because I didn't pay all last year because I couldn't fucking afford it, so. Guess what? It's time for Bottle Crunch, everyone. Get ready. Alright, guys. Ten minutes left. Ten minutes left on this Minecraft stream. So if anyone wants to contribute and try to beat out Snake Eater for the top contribution of 1,200 bits, now is the time. Um, whether you want to do a larger tip or a larger cheer or whatever, it's now the time, okay? We are the fuck? We are running out of time. I'm basically just going to start smelting this iron. <clears throat> okay, we got all the iron going. I think you need iron to do shears as well. I'm gonna put this crossbow, these gems away. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, Sneaky Fish Gaming says it's the opposite for him, where at first his wife had a hard time because he was snored, but over the years his wife got used to it and now she can't even sleep without him snoring. Wow. Well, you're insanely lucky. <laughs> Here we go. Let's get that out of there. How much cobblestone do you say I need? 3.5 stacks. He said, uh, let's see. 255. All right, wait. 226, excuse me. 3.5 stacks. Oh, I definitely got enough of that. So we got one, two, three. Here, we'll just put all that in right now. This is the box I'm keeping all the shit in. So that's in. Where, how many coal did I need? 34. Perfect. 34. The rest of the shit I can put away. Meow. Meow, meow, meow. Some flowers. Allium. I don't even know where I got these from. Allium flowers? That's rare. I held on to this just in case I ran into any more bees. I didn't run into a, one single other bee. Oh, on my entire journey throughout that whole open world over the last stream and a half, I never found another freaking bee. Weird. With the time left, you could try to start converting the blocks you need or get some leaves. I guess you're right. Maybe we'll just run around and try to grab some leaves. <clears throat> While those iron ingots go. And then next week, it'll be about making the shears. And I guess we start building next week, right? That should be good. What the? No, you idiot. Dude, go back in the village, you fucking idiot. I wasn't letting you out. Get your fucking ass in there. Get the fuck back the fuck in the village. Stupid idiot. Are you going to go back in or do I have to lock you out? Uh 
There, I pushed him in. Ha, 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 ha. I pushed his ass in. Okay, I'm going to take down all these leaves with a fish. Vincent says, that was a nice, chill Minecraft stream. Yeah, I like this week. I like the open world exploration we did. And, you know, I think whatever this next build project is. I actually have not looked at all of Papa Vera's, like, instructions that he's written out. So I actually don't know what he has in store for us for this build. Whatever it is, it's probably going to be pretty neat. Shears? Use the shears? Oh. My shears are going to break. My shears are about to break, so it's not going to work. I need to make I need iron to make more shears. That guy's a dummy. Where'd I put them now? I don't even know where the fuck I put them. Here. This is not going to work. They're going to break in like two seconds. <clears throat> okay. There we go. That works. I told you. Well, Darkside Chris is at a fifteen bit uh, tip. He's a fifteen dollar tip. Excuse me. He's no one's the top contributor while I'm around. Destiny is reserved that pleasure for me. So, Darkside Chris is the top contributor for now. Well, I'm only going to be streaming for like five more minutes. FYI, guys. Thank you, Darkside Chris. That gets us up to thirty eight dollars in tips tonight, and you're the top contributor. So, if you remain the top contributor for like five more minutes. That means you will get to determine if you want to name something in the game, something in particular. If you want to see if we have like an idea for an our project for us to work on later on, etc. It's up to you. The cat just ran out. That cat is stupid. <laughs> Papa Verus says I'll have enough iron to make another pair. Okay, I have 24 iron, right? I don't know how many I need for uh, shears, right? What? Phoenix Europa, to me, Dallas says, do you, what do you believe is the proper thing, thing, the proper thing way to drop a gaming lifestyle to focus on professional life? I've known I want to give up gaming for religious and professional developmental reasons, but I have a problem selling consoles. How can one succeed? I have no idea, <clears throat> all right? I have no idea because I'm the opposite. Um, my work is my uh, my living. So if I give up gaming, I'd actually be giving up the way I make money. <laughs> it's the complete and utter opposite for me. So I have zero advice that can help you there because I don't know. I don't know. Do you need sticks or do you need... I don't know if you need sticks or you need wood. I have no idea how you make shears. And then Game Lover took me a dollar asking, what happened to the escort? What do you think? It was a fucking false story like everything else about me. It was completely fucking bullshit. And, uh, you know. You would think after that, after for like, literally for like three to four months harassing the fuck out of me about a story that was not true, that people would have left me alone. But nope. Absolutely not. After that, it was just the next thing, the next thing, and the fucking next fucked up thing that they said about me that was false. <clears throat> You know why? Because I hate to say it, you can't help stupid. If someone wants to actively be fucking stupid, if their goal is to be dumb and actually just believe anything and insult you, they'll do to do it no matter what. It doesn't matter. The truth of the matter is, they don't actually care if there's factual basis behind any of the shit they say about me. All they want to do is create the drama and laugh about it. They don't care if it's true or not. Who cares if any of the stuff that they ever said about me was true or if there's ever actual, any factual corroborating evidence for any of it. All they care about is that they had a chance to insult me and they took it and they got their jollies out of it, you know? So, it doesn't really matter. Gee, whatever happened to that thing that someone said two and a half years ago about you? You know, it was disproven, but 
The thing is, no one cares because no one cared about it to begin with except them. So once that thing became false, they went on to the next ten nonsensical things that aren't true, but they don't care. Hello, Pragmatic Tactician. How are you? Good to see you tonight. We're just wrapping up. We're literally just wrapping up the stream. So you've come at the tail end of the stream here. I think we have enough leaves. Okay. I just enough leaves. I can't remember how many leaves Papa Bear told me to get, but I think that's more than enough leaves. Shit, I went the wrong way. King of hypocrisy, King, King of hypocrisy says, next thing you know, they'll say that I'll have a hair transplant. Well, again, one of their memes is that apparently I'm experiencing massive hair loss. And so, since I'm experiencing massive hair loss, I need some kind of hair plugs, or maybe I'm already looking into hair plugs. Maybe I'm scamming the viewers to pay for hair plugs, right? Uh, what? Old chunk of coal to me $2. It's not iron. It's aron. What does that even mean? You mean iron or aron? Seriously, it's not iron. It's aron. I'm supposed to say it's aron. Uh, no, it's not aron. That's ridiculously stupid. Aron. <laughs> I'm going to stab you with my aron sword. Okay, dude, whatever you say. <clears throat> what a moron. Okay. No, $15 in tips is the highest contribution of the night. For sure. All right, actually, tip me $5 says thank you for years of entertainment. So they, that's another six, eight more dollars in tips, I believe. So we actually made up to 46 in tips tonight. Thank you, guys. So I think... Is this everything we need? We got the vi I need one more vine. I'm just going to have to go fucking find it. Um, The coal. The clay blocks. The wood. The oak saw. Or, excuse me, stone cutter. Crafting table and a furnace. The stacks of cobblestone. The iron and the leaves. I think we have it all. I think that's good. Okay? All right, guys. Well, someone named Penny Train did a $15 and one set tip. He says, build the end portal. I will DM you, name what you build it. It's not that hard to find. Just ask Papa Vera how to find it. I don't even know what the hell the end portal is. I have no idea what that is. I've never heard of it. The end portal. If you mean the portal that I get to fight the Ender Dragon, that's not going to happen. I don't have the items for it. And you're talking weeks and weeks of work to try to go get the items for it. I already said... If you're going to ask for something as a top contributor, it has to be something realistic, and that sounds like something completely unrealistic to me. Proverbs says, before I adjourn tonight, stick a vine on a wall, it'll grow, and I'll have enough. Okay, I will do that. Hold on. Proverbs, what is the end portal? Technically, Penny Train is the top tipper of the night, okay? So I am going to put that up there on the leaderboard. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, Dark Side Chris, you got trumped by this guy who trumped you by a single penny with the top tip. I'm sorry. He said he was going to request that we try to do a survival mode only stream. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Ah, Mr. Papa Vera says, don't worry about the end portal. That's far down the road. Thank you, Mr. Papa Vera. So guess what, Penny Train? You requested something completely invalid. I told you I wasn't going to do shit like that. So either you think of something else or you get nothing. <laughs> so you better think of something else quickly. That's realistic. Because I'm not going to be streaming all night. In fact, that was the end of my stream. Um, pretty much. I'm just going to have a vine start growing. And that's going to be the end. So, so I don't need these leaves. Okay. 
Dark Side Chris, is it would have been to completely disable creative mode? See, I would have to start over to do that, Chris, because this mode on Xbox One, you can't change once you start it. So the mode that I have here, which is, this is survival mode, but I wouldn't be able to do any, I couldn't open this up to other people to join. I couldn't change the mode. On Xbox, whatever you started is what you're doing forever. You can start a totally new world, but you can't actually modify the world you're in in that way. So what sucks about that is, right, like, it looks like you want, oh, modify it to do something different. I can't. The game won't even let me. Okay. This is, this is survival mode. FYI. But I couldn't change it to be a different mode or whatever, so. So, Penny Train, you have to think of something quickly, or else you have to let me, let us know next week what you want. So how do I put this vine on the wall? Like this? Like that? And then will that vine grow down by next week, I guess? Or I guess we just leave it there and over time, naturally, it'll grow down. And I'll have a vine going all the way up and down and then I'll be able to harvest that, I think. Okay. Alright, so we're good. Yeah, Papa Vera confirmed. That's good. Alright, so here's the deal. <clears throat> that was a fun exploration stream, as you can see. We populated almost the entire map. There's a few spots we didn't, but... Almost this entire map's been populated now. It was a fun stream of walking around and everything. Um, so next stream, we're going to start working on the Shrine of Mr. Papavera. Chances are we may finish it because it's not a super complicated build for what I'm to understand since it has such limited ingredients. We may actually finish it on next stream. Penne Train was the top contributor tonight, but asked something real unrealistic with the end portal. We're not doing that. I said we're not doing any more insane over-the-top lofty requests like giant statues that take a month or ender portals that'll take fucking five years. So he has, he has to think about something more realistic and more pragmatic for next week. All right. Um, and go th and go in that regard, okay? So, ah! Scared me. Whoever that is, you can email me or next week you can contact me on the stream and we'll figure out what you want to do. But next week we'll be focusing on Papa Vera's Shrine. Okay, guys? Thank you. That was a good session. Thank you very much, everyone, for your support with Minecraft. I will see you um, next time, which is actually going to be Sunday night. It's going to be sooner rather than later. So if you've been wondering for when's more Minecraft, it's coming up within a week. So good stuff.